Hey everybody, welcome back to Digestive Chemistry. And we're going to take a look at uh, how we use Biuret solution to identify proteins. But first, let me just zoom in a little bit here. So uh, here's our Biuret solution. And if you remember, the Biuret solution is this beautiful shade of light blue, almost a gray blue. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to mix this one tube with water as our control and one tube with a protein source and see what happens. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to take some water from my little container of water and we're going to put some water in here. Okay. Mix it up a little bit and you can see that there's really not much happening, right? Maybe it looks a little lighter shade of blue because we diluted it out with water. But that's pretty much all that's happening. Now when you're dealing with a dye, which is a very light color, let it go. Ooh, there we go, like this. You can make it easier to see color changes by putting it against a white background. So if I use this white paper towel, you can see that it's still light blue. And like I said, it got a little diluted. But now let's see what happens if we take a new tube of Biuret solution. Here I've got a nice fresh one. Let's see what happens if we mix it with some protein. So the easiest way to add protein to the solution is to use a protein which is already in liquid form. Easiest one I can think of to get my hands on is egg white. So remember, egg white is mostly a liquid protein called albumin. Okay, so let's go ahead and take some egg white. I cracked an egg earlier, and that's what's in this container here. And let's go ahead and mix this albumin in with the biuret. In fact, let's get a little extra. And this stuff is pretty thick, so it's a little challenging to actually get in the uh, tube. I think maybe next time I'll need a straw. All right, let's put that in here as well. All right, it's like we will make it fit. All right. And I'm going to squirt. There we go. A little bit more albumin in there. And just to make it even more obvious, I'm going to attempt to get a little more. Now I see why some people dilute this out with water. Okay, so now I've got my albumin in here and now I'm going to mix it up. And look what's going on here. Our Biuret solution has changed from that light blue to this beautiful lavender purple. In fact, I'm going to put that up against the white background for you. And you can see that we've got this beautiful shade of purple. In fact, it's getting close to the color of the purple gloves that I'm wearing. Ta-da! And if I go ahead and grab the tube that has the biorettes mixed with water, now you can see the color difference here. So why did that biorette turn purple? Well, if you remember from lecture, we talked about how uh, proteins are held together with something called peptide bonds. And that biuret solution is going to react with the peptide bond in that protein. So there's no protein in the water and that stayed like blue. That would be the same if I mixed it with fat or if I mixed it with, say, a slice of potato or some of that Sierra Mist soda. It would still say light blue, but you mix it with protein and you get that beautiful purple color. All right, so there you go. And uh, that is how we can identify proteins in a solution. So uh, hope you like that. That's a pretty one. And uh, we'll get ready for the next one, guys.